Today on our 1991 Ford F-150, we'll be installing the Tecancha Powertrack Electric Brake Controller, part number 39523, in conjunction with the ETB C7 brake controller wiring, as well as the replacement brake control plug-in harness for Tecancha and draw type brake controllers, part number 20127. Now we'll begin our installation here at the rear bumper. We'll need to install the bracket to the rear bumper that will hold our seven pole connector. We'll take the bracket and the hardware, put the bracket in place here in the pre-drilled holes, slide the bolt through, put the washers on the other side, and lock it down with the nut. With both bolts in, we can go ahead and tighten it down, securing it to the rear bumper. We're now ready to put the seven pole into the bracket. We'll take our seven pole connector and the hardware here, put the connector into place, making sure that the wires pass through the bracket. And with our connector in place, we'll pass the bolts through the connector, through the bracket, put the nut on the other side and tighten them down. With all four bolts in and tight, our seven pole is secured to the vehicle and we're ready to wire it up. Now to wire it up, you'll notice that the seven pole has a four pole on the other side. Now this vehicle already has a four pole, so we'll simply plug it in to our new connector and lock it down with a zip tie. This will ensure that it never comes apart, where we can then wrap it in electrical tape, further securing it and keeping the elements out. Now with that connection made, we'll go ahead and secure it back to our hitch here using a couple of zip ties. We'll now move on to our ground and reverse light lead. The white wire here with the ring dialet is our ground and the purple wire with the yellow butt connector on it is our reverse light lead. Now we will not be hooking this up, so we're gonna go ahead and attach the purple wire to our white wire just to keep it out of the way. With that done, we'll find a good grounding location and using a self-starting screw, we'll attach it here to the frame of the truck, giving us a good ground. We'll again make sure that all our wires are neatly tucked away and secured with some zip ties. We're now ready to work on our brake control wiring. We'll take our duplex wire, remove the sheathing, and attach the white wire to the blue wire here on our seven pole. We'll take the black wire and attach it to the black wire of our seven pole. With that done, we'll go ahead and wrap it in electrical tape just to keep it out of the elements. We can then secure it to the hitch and begin running our wire up to the front of the truck. Now, as we run it up to the front of the truck, we're gonna try to stay away from anything hot, such as the exhaust or any moving components, such as the vehicle suspension or steering as we rot the wire. Now before we move back to the top side of the truck, we're gonna take the included corrugated loom and wrap it around our seven pole wiring just to give it a good look. 
Now that we're done underneath the truck here, we move up to the top side. Now here in the engine compartment of the truck, we'll route our duplex wire up where we can now cut the majority of the sheathing left off of the wiring. Our white wire will route through the firewall of the truck and into the cab. The black wire will continue up the firewall and around to our battery. Now here at our battery, we'll need about an extra eight feet of our duplex wire. This will be our power and ground for the brake controller. We'll start here at the battery and work in the same way that we ran the black wire back to the firewall, where we can then pass it through the same hole that we ran the white wire through. With that done, we'll move into the cab where we'll mount our brake controller. We'll find a suitable location and using the self-starting screws, we'll attach the brake controller mounting bracket to the dash of the truck. With that done, we can now attach our brake controller to the bracket using the included screws coming with the brake controller. Now that we have our brake controller mounted, We'll move over back to our wiring. We'll take our replacement brake control plug-in harness and the wires that we ran into the truck from the firewall. We'll connect the white wire from the duplex wire to the white wire on the harness. We'll connect the black wire on the duplex wire to the black wire on the harness. We'll take the white wire that was by itself coming through the firewall and connect it to the blue wire of our wire harness. Now the red wire will need to make a connection at our brake light switch. Now we're gonna go ahead and extend our red wire just to make sure that we can route it without getting in the way of any steering components or other electrical accessories. We'll now locate our brake signal. Now here's our brake switch, where we'll back probe our connector. Now we'll wanna to connect to the wire that energizes when you press on the brake. Now that we've located it, we'll now take the wire tap included with our ETBC7 and connect the red wire to the solid green wire on our brake light switch. Now you may need to peel the sheathing from the brake light switch wiring in order to get enough wire to tap it. We'll now go ahead and plug the harness we just assembled into the brake control harness and secure it up underneath the dash. With that done, we'll just make sure that our wiring is all secured underneath the dash where we can reinstall the cover that we removed previously. With everything done there, We'll move back out to the engine compartment. We'll take our 20 amp fused breaker and attach it to the firewall here. We'll have three wires, two black wires, as well as one white wire. Now the black wire that's within the duplex wiring sheathing will cut off, strip it back, and attach our small ringed eyelet included with the ETBC7 kit. where we can then take the ring dial it and put it over the silver side of the breaker. We'll take the excess that we cut from the black wire and attach another one of the small ring dialets. And we'll put it on the copper side of our breaker. Now this wire will run to our positive terminal on our battery.
We'll take the 40 amp breaker included with the ETBC7 and attach it to the side of the truck here. We'll now take the black wire that's by itself and attach a small ringed eyelet to it. With that done, we'll take the small ringed eyelet and attach it to the silver side of our breaker. We'll then take another piece of black wire, attach our small ring eyelet, and attach it to the copper side of the breaker. With both breakers in and all of our nuts tight, we'll attach the large ring eyelets to the other side of both black wires, where we can now make our connection to the positive side of our battery. We'll take the white wire and connect it to the negative side of our battery. And with that done, our brake controller's in and we're ready to pull a trailer with brake. And that completes our installation of the Takancha Powertrack Electric Brake Controller, part number 39523, in conjunction with the ETBC7 trailer brake wiring harness, as well as the replacement brake control plug-in harness for Takancha and draw type brake controllers, part number 20127 on our 1991 Ford F-150.